Today, I will basically pick up where Alex left off. So while Alex showed you the Elastic APM agent yesterday, I will show you the um, open telemetry agent that you can use instead, how they are different um, and how you can combine them. So I have the same application as before. Um, we have our Spring Boot reactive application. I have instrumented it. I have instrumented it slightly differently than Alex yesterday. So Alex approach yesterday, if you haven't seen the session, it might make sense to watch it afterwards. Um, Alex session um, showed you how to instrument that in code. I will just to show you the alternative instrument it as a, with a Java agent. So what I'm doing here in my service definition, I uh, have my jar that I'm starting. And to instrument it, I'm, I'm loading a Java agent here, the current one for OpenTelemetry 170. Um, I am giving it a couple of parameters. So I have set the application name, for example. And then I have configured where is my APM server available. Um, and then we have the author authorization header that we're setting. And that's it. That is instrumenting my application. And as soon as I configure that, OpenTelemetry will pick up what is going on in my application. And it will automatically instrument lots of technologies, including um, Spring Boot Reactive. So my application will be instrumented here. For the endpoint, before I show you the actual application, um, why do you have OpenTelemetry? OpenTelemetry is vendor neutral. So you need or you have one agent that you can use on any system you want. And then it supports multiple backends, like the Elastic Stack, but also many others. So the idea is you don't need to change anything in your instrumentation. You can just change the vendor of the backend because you think somebody has better search or visualization or more performance storage. You can change that. Um, nothing else needs to change. So nothing in your application has to change, for example. And there are three ways you can integrate into OpenTelemetry from your application. Just to give you the idea, so you have the, the general vendor neutral agent, and then a vendor could implement a vendor exporter here on the agent, and then ship that to whatever backend they have. So this could be, I don't know, let's say Splunk. Um, Elastic doesn't have this approach just because it's a lot of work to have that vendor exporter for every single agent. So we didn't do that. Instead, where we started or what we had first was that there is an open telemetry protocol. So you have the open telemetry agent in all your different applications. They have a protocol and can forward that to the so-called open telemetry collector, which is another piece of software you need to run provided by the open telemetry foundation. And here you have to implement an exporter once that can told to your backend. This is what Elastic supported. It is still supported, but it's deprecated. We don't recommend this approach anymore. Instead, the third and final approach is what we are supporting now, or what I'm using here as well, is you have the open telemetry protocol. So up until here, everything is an open standard open telemetry, including from the collector or any agent. And then our APM server has implemented the open telemetry protocol so it can take in that data natively. And the rest here is the Elastic Stack. So APM server, Elasticsearch, and then Kibana. But on your application side, everything is vendor neutral and the open telemetry agent. Now, what that looks like is very similar to what you have seen yesterday. So you can see we have our application that is getting some, I guess, health checks or whatever. So you have some latency here. You have throughput if you run something against your application, like the search command that Alex has run yesterday, I will just run the same thing. So here I'm using Apache Bench again against that product search for the keyword. Wonderful. So I'll just generate some loads. Sorry, some load. Um, I will also trigger the error. So we have that page exception. If I trigger that page exception twice, um, in a moment or so, we will actually be see all of those here that have been running in the last 15 minutes. Um, so you can see here more load from our query. Um, you can see this here was the um, erroneous um, transaction that generated the error. Um, if I refresh again, it should hopefully pick that up further down as well, or not yet, but in a moment it will. Um, and you can see here over time failed transactions um, for whatever reason, my 
my exception is not coming, but there will be an exception in a moment. Um, it's actually this one here um, that is creating a trouble or creating trouble. So here you have the internal server error because, well, that page throws an error. So back to the other transactions. Um, let's look at my starting point of the application. Um, this one is all fine. Again, you can see where do you spend your time? How fast are the requests? We can look at the individual ones. You can see we're getting a request for the main controller. It calls the find all repository and then shows me all the documents that I have in my application, which is very simple. I have a single product right now, um, but it's, well, finding that and showing that. So this is what is shown from this trace. And you can see here the HTTP requests. That's actually an HTTP request towards Elasticsearch. And the main controller is just calling that show method, calling the find all, and then doing the Elasticsearch queries. You can also see that on the service map. So you can see here, this is my application. This is um, Elasticsearch. You can see here the found IO, that is what the Elastic Cloud Service was called before it joined Elastic. Um, so that's Elasticsearch here. Um, it didn't get a nicer name. It didn't really detect um, that it's Elasticsearch, but it's seeing some other backend where you're doing HTTP calls against. Um, Open Telemetry doesn't have all the features that you have in the Elastic Agent. So for example, the JVM stats that Alex has shown yesterday, those are not available in Open Telemetry, so we cannot fill those out. Um, did we collect our error now? Yes, you see that is the wild runtime exception that I've shown you on the pre or that I've called with the slash exception. Um, that is what has happened a couple of times now. You can see the stack trace and you can figure out like, okay, something is wrong here in my main controller on line 30. Probably I should debug that. Finally, um, so we have run Apache Bench against the wonderful endpoint or against the wonderful query. So what I have done here is um, I have in Gradle, I've added the dependencies, open telemetry API and extension annotations. So this is vendor neutral. And then in my product search, I have instrumented that Q parameter. So this is what you're searching for. I have instrumented that with, with span. Um, so I'm working with a span here and then I'm extracting the span attribute with just this annotation and the parameter. I am extracting that so I have that explicitly in my application. And this is one of the strengths of open telemetry that this is all vendor neutral. You don't have any elastic um, dependencies in your code now here. Um, this is all open telemetry, the open standard. And if you want to switch out to another um, backend, you can do that. You don't have to change anything in your application or from the customized code that you have written. So where is where is that transaction and where is the parameter that I have extracted? So on the product search endpoint, you can see these are the steps we are calling. So that's the endpoint. Search, the search method, another search method, and then find all products. Um, so here on search, um, it, I have this labels queue. And the search query I had, wonderful. Um, you could then change it to great or whatever. And you could just find, give me a search query for this specific keyword and see what happened. Just as one of the many examples. You could also add as a label like the user that is logged in, if a user has problems to figure out who you need to help, etc. So this is all for today. On Monday, we will actually continue the tracing topic, then going to distributed tracing. How do I make my traces work across distributed applications so that I can actually follow the requests as they work their way around the system? For today, this was open telemetry, the vendor neutral standard you can use to instrument your application so you don't have anything vendor specific in your application. You can still get the most out of whatever backend you choose because it's supported very widely. That's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Bye, everyone.